So I'm going to offer out a question. If you could take a test to find out how long you would live, help you determine when you might die, would you? Life is short, as the saying goes, but would you want to know exactly how short it is? According to scientists at Yale University, you may be able to know the answer with a blood test. The test measures what the scientists call a person's phenotypic age, which if higher than your real chronological age, could suggest shorter life expectancy. Unlike previous studies to calculate a person's life expectancy, these scientists use nine different biomarkers in your blood to make their assessments. So would you take a test that might tell you when you'll die? We asked our viewers if you would take a blood test that might predict when you'll die. 61% said you would. I, I got the sense in the audience that we were split down the middle in terms of people who would yeah. want to know versus wouldn't want to know. Would you? No. Nope. You would? Would you? I'm a yes. Mm -hmm. I know what you, you are. you, Dr. Batra? I'm a complete yes. Yeah, I love information. In fact, I sent in my blood test. So the interesting thing about this particular test is that it's not, there have been prior studies on, or kind of at home tests for telomeres and epigenetics, which are more genetic basis of right. aging to predict how old your cells or your DNA looks per se. But this one is kind of interesting because it's nine markers from blood tests that you would typically get done at your doctor's office, like glucose or creatinine or albumin levels. And those are things that you can actually monitor Modify. So let's say you get a result on this test, and I actually have no idea what my results are, and I'm a little scared, but these are things that if maybe you don't get the most favorable result, you can actually take control and make some changes. I do have Dr. Batra's results right here. And do we, do we you know, what would I, expect? I don't even know how old you are. I mean, you have no. great genes, you take care of yourself, you're fit, you exercise. I mean, look at you. I, I are, we allowed, uh, are you allowed to share that with of us? Of course. How old are you? So, so here's the thing, I'm 44. And when I took these blood tests, I actually gave myself a mental out in case I got bad news today. Because when these blood tests were done, it was actually quite early in my involvement with the show. And I feel like since I've been helping with the doctor's show, they may in fact my be habits have improved so much. There's so much I've learned well, and I've changed. So I will give myself that, that little asterisk that hopefully my age is even well, better it's now. it's all good news. But that okay. being said, I think that your report card should be better all right. But it's pretty good. All right, phenotypic age, 42.5 years. So, so yeah. that is younger, younger than your age. Where does that put you? Your ranking is 84%. So that means that your phenotypic age is better than 84% of the population. Why are you talking? Well, that's Wait, not no, bad. No, 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 no. She is so bad. She is not okay unless she's 99% I know, she's dollar better. So the next, so well. year, the next year, you, we'll redo this, right? We because have to redo this. You're, I know you. And over the next year, you're going to do everything possible. And what we should do is a year from now, we, we should, should retake re this test. Yeah. And I am willing to bet anyone in this audience, anyone watching at home, she will have reached the 99th percentile. A couple more numbers here, median life expectancy, oh. 83 and a half years. Okay. I That's the part I, I don't like. No, about I don't like that. that. Yeah, but it's good like to know. No, you don't like, uh, you're going to do like so much that better that. than I, that. So, yeah. I, and your 10-year mortality risk, 3.4%. So, very Not low. Bad. That, yeah. That's very, very good. If you take a test like this, and Dr. Batra, maybe you would agree or disagree, but I, I think you have to take it with a grain of salt because you take a test like this and they're going to start saying things like, your expected rate of survival will be age 72. The problem if you take that too seriously is you might start living your life in a way, be healthier, absolutely. But then, let's say you reach age 71. In the back of your mind, like, well, this is my last year. <laughs> <laughs> be very so, careful yeah. with that. So, that so don't, so don't view mind. it as your, as your destiny or your fate. Think of it as a, as a call to action. And you have. That's what I will. Yeah. You've got 38 years left. Yes. I'm you have a lot more than that. It's going to be more that. than that. It absolutely will.